we bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of a servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. So today we're talking about the last judgment. The last judgment is what we're talking about today. If you are a believer, this will not be new to you. The last judgment is the judgment that will end everything. It is the end of everything. We have been following a script that has been written by God. I call it a script because the Lord knows everything from the beginning to the end. He knew everything. God is a fountain of all wisdom and knowledge. He knew how the world would end. God is not limited by anything. And I want to tell you that if you are listening to me right now, I want you to ask yourself one question. If this world actually started one day, if this world we are living in right now, if it is deteriorating before our very eyes, how can we not believe that this world will come to an end one day? Please, if you are watching this video, share this message with someone and also subscribe if you have not done so. If you are watching on Facebook, please share this video and subscribe to all our channels let's look at the test revelation chapter 20 11 to 15 and i saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the world the earth and the heavens fled and there was found no place for them and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is a book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their words. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their words. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The last judgment. There have been different judgments in the world. Different judgments by God himself. The first two human beings that were created, that existed, the forefathers, the forefather and mother of everyone, Adam and Eve, faced the judgment of God when they sinned against God. When they sinned, God judged them and issued judgmental terms, one of which is death, physical death. From that moment, God also, because sin had been introduced to man and man fell, Man also was a portion, not just to die physically, but to choose between everlasting life and everlasting death. At the end of everything, man is to stand before his maker, to give account of everything he has done. The things he has done in the body, whether they are good or they are bad, Man came out of God. God is eternal and man is an eternal being. God, the difference between God and man is that God has no beginning and no, no end. Man has a beginning, but he has no end. Man is an eternal being and he will live forever. Don't get deceived. 
those of you who are listening to me right now, you are an eternal being and you will live forever. You, the soul, will never die. I tell you the truth. You will never taste death. The death we are talking about, the death I'm talking about is eternal death. That eternal death is the death that you will be dying and you will not finish dying. Some people think that after they die, it is over. That is why when a lot of people, when they face a lot of challenges, they want to end it all. They said, no, I just want to end it. The trouble is too much. Listen, the trouble you are going to meet is everlasting. So some people think that when they go to hell, then they die in hell. You are not going to die in hell. Hell is an everlasting death. That means you are dying and you continue to die. It is eternal, eternal separation from God. So when people go to hell, they don't die. It is called eternal death because it is eternal separation from God. But you are not actually consumed and you go into oblivion or extinction because you are an eternal being and you will live and remain forever. But in hell. The last judgment is the judgment that is going to end the phase of everything called earth. The last judgment is a day that the Lord God Almighty has set apart to bring everything on that judgment. It is called the last judgment because after that judgment, there will be no other judgment. God judged Adam and Eve. He judged the generation of Noah with the flood. He judged the people that existed in the time of Babel when they built a tower. God judged them and he scattered them and divided the world. And not just that too, he also confused their tongue. That was the birth of different languages we speak in the world right now. God also judged the children of Israel at different places. God judged Egypt. He judged the land of Canaan. The last judgment is the final judgment that we end the reign of evil, that we end the reign of Satan, that we end the existence of evil and sin on earth. After the rapture, there will begin the tribulation of three and a half years and the great tribulation of three and a half years. And then the Lord will come with his angels and there will be 1,000 reign of Christ, physical reign of Christ on earth from Jerusalem when Satan must have been bound for that 1,000 years. And after that 1,000 years, he will be released for a short time. And Satan is going to deceive people and gather people to the war of Armageddon. And the Bible says that their number is as the sand of the sea. And after that moment, God will release fire from heaven. And the war, Satan will be defeated in that war. And after that war, throne, the throne of God will be set in place. And everyone that died and was buried in the sea, all the ones that died through fire, all the ones that died in the desert, those that were grounded into ashes, everyone will be released by the sea, by fire. Those in the desert, they will be released. It is the resurrection of the dead. Everyone will stand before the judgment seat of 
God to give account. The judgment of God will not be sweet to those who disobey God. It is going to be horrible for those who think they are wise in their own wisdom. Let me tell you something. There was war in heaven some years ago. Satan, the devil, became a problem in heaven. He became the one that caused war in heaven. And he was thrown down. Him and his angels, they were thrown to the earth. It was a very horrible time. So when Satan was thrown down, Satan vowed that he is going to destroy humanity. And he is deceiving the whole of the world today. If you are listening to me, do not get deceived. If you are already deceived, call yourself to order. Because Satan, the devil, will be judged. Let's look at the scripture again. Revelation 20, 11 to 15. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. That judgment is going to be for two things. It is going to be the condemnation of those who disobey God. The Bible says that the world and heaven fled from his face because his face is going to bring out fire. Nobody will be able to look at his face that day. The one that sits on the throne is going to look very fierce. The one that sits on the throne is going to look, his face is going to look terrible to so those who did not follow him. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall world because of him. Even so, amen. Every kindred of the earth, those who hate him, those who don't want to hear his name, those who hate the gospel of salvation, they are going to wail because of him when he comes. It is going to be a day of torment. That day is going to be the day of rejoicing for those who do good and the day of torment for those who do evil. Where do you belong? When I look at the world today, I see people who have been deceived, people who have been led astray, people who no longer believe in the judgment of God. Even some of those who have been called have fallen aside. They have dropped the gospel of repentance, the gospel of the kingdom, and they are now pursuing money. A lot of people have fallen apart. A lot of people have now given up on the true faith of Jesus Christ, the truth of the gospel. And they are running after fake things. They are running after the things that perish. They are running after the things that will never last. But I tell you the truth. He that puts his hand to the plow and looks back is no longer fit for the kingdom of God. What are you running after? Are you running after money? Or you are running after the kingdom of God? What are you running after? Have you given up on God? Have you dropped the plow? Or are you still enduring to the end? Let us look at something that happened. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 9. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon, who the great dragon was cast out, 
that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world, and was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. They were cast down to this earth. And from that moment, there has been chaos on earth. But God has set a day aside. That day is a day He is going to judge the living and the dead. It is a day that terror will come to an end. It is a day that the Lord God Almighty will bring justice to as many that are being oppressed in the world today. It is a day that the Lord is going to bring to pass everything that has been spoken that people call threats people call them threats a lot of people now preach that oh uh, god is going to destroy the wicked and there will be no more and they will burn and be consumed souls don't die spirits don't die we came out of god and we will go back to him the soul we go back to God. So do not think that one day you are going to be consumed and that will be the end of your life. You will never be consumed because you are a soul living. You are a spirit living in a physical body. That day is going to be terrible. Let us look at what the Lord said about that day. Amos chapter 5 verses 18 to 20. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Let me tell you something. I used to know someone in my family who used to say, Is it not hell? I'm ready to go to hell. After all, there will be millions of people there. I know I'm going to hell. And I know I'm not going to be there alone. Do you know what hellfire is? Do you know how beautiful heaven looks like. And do you know how ugly hellfire looks like? The Bible says that the ones in hell do not die. They don't die. A lot of people do not know the horror that is in hell. It is a place of torment. It is a place that God has prepared for the devil and his angels. It is a horrible place. Please do not go there. Don't go to hell. Hell is a terrible place. Do not go there. Do not make it there. A lot of people are on a journey. They are on a journey to the fire of hell. But I tell you, don't even think about it. Do you know what Satan did? I know why I read Revelation chapter 12. Some things happen before you were born. Some things happen. Satan rebelled against God. And he has a judgment. Hellfire wasn't actually prepared for human beings. Listen, Mark 9, 46, 47. Where there are one, dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And if then I offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into a fire. This is Jesus talking. Do you know that Jesus Christ warned people about hellfire more than all the prophets and all the preachers from Genesis to Revelation? Nobody talked about hell more than Jesus Christ. Yes, God is love, but love wants. The love that doesn't want is not a genuine love. Love wants. 
And God is warning today that everyone should repent. Repent of your sins. Repent of your evils. Repent of every sin that you are committing. Because without repentance, without giving your life to Jesus Christ, it is going to be terrible. There are worms in hell. Jesus Christ said, the worms do not die. We don't know how they look like, but they are horrible. What do worms do? They bore holes. They eat them. I believe these are special worms with teeth. They don't die. They will be in the fire to torment those who made it there successfully. Let's go back to the evidence. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his head on the wall and his serpent beat him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? The day of the Lord is coming. Who shall be able to stand? Are you being oppressed by your gods? Are you facing any temptation right now? Are you facing hardship as we talk right now? Is life difficult for you and you want to give up? I tell you, do not give up. Are you offended to the point of paying back? Do you want to take laws into your hands? Please. Don't do it. I tell you the truth. The day of judgment is coming when the Lord will bring everything, everything, every secret thing, everything will come to light. Are you being oppressed by the devil? And people tell you that, oh, you just need to do this or do that. Are you facing threats? Are you facing threat in your life? Are you among those who are hoping for eternal life? Are you among those who believe that no matter what I face in this world, I will just endure and just wait till I see my Savior? Are you among those ones? Are you among those who are waiting for the day of redemption? Or you are among those who are living their lives as if God doesn't exist anymore? Please, if you are among those who have forgotten about the existence of the Supreme God, who is going to judge the living and the dead, please call yourself to order. I know that it is going to be very, very horrible. Now let's look at the conclusion of the whole thing. At least that's in chapter 12, 13, and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is a whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. I tell you the truth, the judgment of God is coming. And God will bring everything to pass, whether it be good or it be evil. The judgment of God is going to be fierce for those who are living their lives as if God does not exist. Where do you belong? If the trumpet sounds today, where do you go to? Are you putting on the garments of righteousness? Are you among those who have given up on God because of trials, because of temptations? Is there any secret sin in your life that you need to let go 
please let it go. Let that sin go. Let it go. So that you don't go to the same place that the devil will have his eternal rest. Please join the children of light to go to the place where the saints will have eternal rest. Where are you going to? There are two places, two destinations. And each of these destinations has eternity. Are you going to rest in hell or you are going to rest in hell? Today, we see people saying rest in peace. Everybody that dies, we write rest in peace. <laughs> Don't be deceived. There is no rest in peace in hell. How would someone rest in the midst of fire? This is the kind of fire that is set up by God himself. This is the kind of fire that is set up by Jehovah himself. It is not a kind of fire that is set up by an ordinary human being. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to him. Jesus Christ is calling you. He's calling for repentance. Give your life to him. He wants you to repent. He wants you to come to him. If you want to give your life to Christ, if you want to be among those who will be crowned on the last day, I want you to pray this prayer want you to make up your mind or even if you have given your life to Christ before but you just want to make reconciliation you want to reconcile with your maker could you please say this prayer after me say Lord Jesus I give you my life I give you my soul I repent of my sins Forgive me of my sins. I accept the free gift of life. That is, through believing in the name of Jesus Christ alone, and one is saved. Lord, I make up my mind today that I'm giving my life to you. Make up my, life, my mind today that I'm renewing my relationship with you. Lord, please be merciful to me. Forgive me of my sins. Remove my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. I put my trust in you, O Lord. Please be merciful to me. Wipe off every evil record and open a fresh page for me. Spirit of the Lord, I am yours. Come and dwell inside of me. Now I want to pray for you. O oh Lord God, I pray for this words. May your spirit rest upon this life. May the power of the Lord see you through. May the spirit of God come upon you. May the Lord forgive you your sins, cleanse you from every unrighteousness. All the demons in you, all the evil powers in you, I command them to give way right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free, be set loose. In the name of Jesus, may the power of the Lord set you free. May the Spirit of God help you. Be free, be delivered. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. Even now, O Lord God, we pray that no power of hell will touch these words. I commit these words into your able hand. Lord, see these ones through. I pray for as many who are facing one challenge or the other. Believers who have come to believe the truth. Be free, be set loose in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. Pray for us, many who have been supporting our ministry and our charity organization. Lord, take away burdens from their lives. Take away shame from their lives. Release blessings from above upon their lives. May your children be blessed. May your womb be blessed. May your marriage be blessed. May your career be blessed. May your job be blessed. In the name of Jesus, receive blessings in your health. 
we will never lack. In Jesus' name, Amen. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.hosannadavid.com. Email us at info at hosannadavid.com. God bless you.